Today I am shattering glass. Hey guys, Vanessa here. Welcome to my channel. I like to do creative photography, book cover photography, self portraits, anything creativity related that I can do all by myself. And today is a bit of a DIY. I am breaking pieces of glass that I can then use in photos to make it like a shattered effect. And I'm going to use these with self portraits. I can also use these on portraits of other people. And the reason that I'm doing this is for book covers. If you haven't checked out my videos on book covers, I have a video where I talk about doing research for genres and trends. And the broken glass look is really popular with like thriller novels and anything that's kind of like action adventure, danger, that kind of thing. So I wanted to make some panels that I could reuse and I used a couple of different things, different products to try and keep the pieces of glass together. So if you're excited to make your own shattered pieces of glass to use for photos, hit the like and I'll jump into it. This is one that I did with actual strips of tape. And so the problem with this is that it has these lines that I'm going to have to Photoshop out. For the most part, it's clear, um, but there will be touching up that I'll have to do in Photoshop. So now I'm going to take another piece of glass and I just get these from the dollar store. They're just plain um, frames without any border on them. They're just glass with a back. And what I do is I, for this one I use tape, for, for this next one I'm going to be using Magic Cover is the brand. And it's like a clear, um, transparent, tight sticker paper. And I've got two different brands here. I decided to go for this brand because it is not super clear like this. It is kind of got like a frosted effect and I think that will be actually kind of cool. So to do that, I am going to cut a piece that's just a little bit larger than the glass. your glass is really clean because you don't want to be gluing down or sticking down anything that you don't want to stay there. It's helpful to have something that your glass can sit on top of so that when you put the sticker sheet over top, you're not getting stuck to the table and you have a little bit of space to work with it that way. Another tip is to spritz it with water. And the water kind of acts as a barrier between the sticker sheet and the glass so that you have a little bit of room to, to wiggle it around and, and smooth it out. You just squeegee, squeegee the water out and you, you're less likely to get bubbles and ripples and wrinkles and stuff. And a tip that I found is this is quite rolly, which is difficult to work with. So if I just roll it in the opposite direction, it kind of helps it flatten out a little bit. If you have time, you could probably put it under some heavy books or something and that could help get it flat, but it's 
definitely too difficult to work with when it's still curling up like that and you're going to want to flatten it out somehow. So that's a little bit easier to manage. bubbles out and now I'm going to trim off the sides. both sides because I don't find this stuff particularly sticky and I'm not entirely confident that it's going to hold the glass together just from one side. So this is my second piece. While it's still wet in between, it is possible to, well now it's not doing it, slide around a little bit. And so I don't want to break it while it's still kind of slidey. I want to wait until it, the water inside is evaporated which it will eventually it won't always slide around oh there we go so you can see that so when it's not doing that anymore and I know that it's much more secure that is when I'm going to break it okay I'm just about to go take these pieces of glass and smash them but before I do that I want to show you the different ways that these coverings have affected the look of the glass. So I've already kind of showed you this one and this one is the tape and you can see tape lines on it and it's already broken, not on purpose. Um, it's just been kicking around the house and I think one of the kids stepped on it or I don't know. So that's the tape and this tape I bought because I could tell that it was quite clear by the fact that I could see the label pretty good through it. And I have to say that it is probably the clearest option that I have here. Um, even though it has the lines that I'm gonna have to Photoshop out, if I want it to look like plain glass, that's probably my best choice. The next one that I have is a brand, I think it says a B fix. I'm not entirely sure. I spent some time on Google trying to find it and I could not. My mom gave me this, so I don't know where she got it. It could just be like a dollar store brand or something. I'm really not sure. But I'm really happy with this one. It is like a medium frostiness and I think that it'll work really well. I'm okay with things being a little bit obscured because I will be using these for book covers and book covers generally um, like to have a face not totally be clear. So my third one is the most frosty looking one and that is the magic cover. Again, I'm not entirely sure where this came from. My mom gave these to me out of her craft supply. I live in a really small town and like I've had a hard time finding orange 
flavored pop here. So it there, there's not a lot of like shopping options. So my mom gave me these. I don't know where to get them other than trying to go online. And this is the frostiest look. And I like this because I can do stuff like this and it, it will have kind of like a creepy look to it. Um, so this but shattered would look really cool. This would actually look cool just not even broken at all, just like this. The issue with these pieces of glass is that when I am shooting, it's going to have to be pretty close up because it's so small. I would love to have a full panel like this. I, that would be really great to play with. So those are the three different looks that I have from these three different products. Um, they're not entirely expensive either way. I mean, I think you could get a roll of this online for like 10 bucks, but there are definitely dollar store options. I know one of these is. I don't know which one, but I know one of them is. So even a dollar fifty for a small roll, you can't really go wrong. The glass again is from the dollar store as well, these little glass frames. So it's pretty affordable. And then these are reusable. So because I've taped them and it keeps it together, I just put them away safely. And anytime that I wanna have a broken glass effect, I can pull them out. And I've done this, you can do the exact same thing with mirrors. Mirrors are a little bit easier because you only have to do one side and you don't even have to use clear. So the mirror that I've done, the back side is taped with red tuck tape, which is very sticky. So I do recommend that if you can, because it doesn't matter, you don't have to see through it. So you can also do the same cracked thing and make it reusable with a mirror as well. Let's get cracking. Let's go break these. So I've tried a couple of different ways of breaking things and I have tried throwing them, rolling stuff over them, dropping things onto them, throwing a rock at it. And my favorite way to break these things and get a nice shatter look is actually just dropping them flat on a hard surface. So I'm just in my carport right now and I'm gonna drop these. doing this outside just because in case it does poke through the adhesive film and pieces fall out or whatever I'm not having to deal with broken glass in the house so so I have just finished shooting with these pieces of glass and there was a couple of changes that I had to stop my shoot and go deal with. Um, this is the first time that I've ever shot with glass like this. Like I said, I've done this with mirrors, but I have not done this with glass. So the first thing that I wanna say is that frosted one, the magic cover, it was way too frosted. Like I couldn't really see anything going on. It would be okay if it was a huge panel and I could maybe do some like silhouette looks, but I couldn't even really get the silhouette of my head because it's basically the same size as my head. So a little bit more space would have been better. I tried to fix that by peeling off one side of the magic cover and adding the clear tape to that side which was not ideal because as I peeled off that back side, it was pulling out pieces of glass. So I probably have glass on my table. I know I poked myself a couple times and I really wish that I had just done one side tape, one side magic cover before I had shattered it. So trying to change your covering when it's already broken is not recommended. I also discovered that I like having these 
tape edges. So I added these kind of edges to help seal the corners because if something's gonna fall out, it was mostly like the corners here. And it also gives me something to hang on to and to maximize the piece of glass because when I started, I was hanging onto the glass, which meant that I was going to have to crop some of it out. And this way I get more space, uh, which I really needed with these tiny sheets. The tape one was just kind of boring. It wasn't super shattered. So I did decide to stab it with a spoon and get this effect, like a bullet hole or something. And even though I'm going to have to Photoshop the lines, this one was probably my favorite. Uh, it is clear enough that you can still see that it's a face behind the, this thing was really cool. Um, I did prefer that one so far. I really wish that I could find like a roll of something this clear and this strong because the tape really, the tape is holding it well, really holding it together really well. I actually only have one side taped and the other side I did not tape. I put one strip on, you can see here, right here, the super tiny pieces were falling out after I stabbed it. So I had to put something there. This again was not ideal adding, adding the tape after because I could not really clean the glass. I could not um, do the water trick to help smooth it out. So I've got a lot more bubbles and things in here and I really should have done it beforehand. However, if you're not gonna have something like this and you're just gonna have a few cracks, the tape was good with just one side taped, which is more than I can say for the other kinds. Now this weird AB fix kind that I couldn't find, like I don't even know if that's what it's called, I liked the amount of frostiness on this. I liked the cracked um, amount. The issue that I had with this one is this was the weakest adhesive. It was not sticking well. Pieces did want to fall out. And this is when I really decided that I had to add the edges because this wasn't holding it itself. So I needed to add some tape edges to this one because it wasn't strong enough. So that said, I'm still happy with them. I'll still be able to use them. Um, I have some stuff to go edit now and I learned enough that if I were to go buy a larger piece of glass, I would know what to do <laughs> to make it work, which I think I, I want to do at this point. I like these small ones, but it would be great to have a little bit more room. So, what I would do is I would have tape on one side and then I think that I would have the AB fix on the other side. So it's not too frosted, it's a little bit frosted, but it's not too weak because it's got the tape on the other side. And I think that would be, and I would definitely do the edges like this and maybe even secure some things for hanging. So these pieces, the more shattered they are, the more kind of wobbly they're going to feel in your hands and less secure. If you could put them back in a frame, that might help them feel a little bit more secure. But I just wanted to tell you guys, like, make sure that you're storing these like in something that's going to hold them nice and flat, something hard so that they're not getting bumped and banged and bent in storage. I think that's really important if you're going to be wanting to reuse these because if they're bending around, there is a chance that the shattered glass could poke through the adhesive and start to stab through and it could fall apart. So store them appropriate, please. If you're interested in seeing me use these, go ahead and click on the video on my end screen to check out a behind the scenes of shooting with the shattered glass.